184s. They're on the mat. Going to be looking at Jesse Pulser, who sprained his ankle last match. Going to be taking on Hayden Brawny. So Brawny, the pinner. Pulser, the double legger. Uh, Pulser, his team has a nine point lead. You have the top three pinners in NCAA wrestling the last two years. Brawny, your leader in NCAA pins last year. <laughs> 23 pins last year. Brawny taking on Jesse Pulser. Pulser from Mansfield. Mansfield Senior. And that, Hayden Brawny, is a Grand Falcon. The local Yoko from Champaign County. Brawn rock, rocking the, uh, Brawny rocking the left knee sleeve full leg. I'll tell you what, they're blacked out today. Tipping, they're in murder mode. Paul's are beautiful double leg. Brawny. He's an assassin man, just a pinner in general. Just fun to watch. Balls are fun to watch. Dirt's gonna happen here. Someone's probably gonna get pinned or something crazy is gonna happen. I can't wait. Dual score 2011 in favor of Lake Erie College. Balls are defaulted last match about an hour ago, an hour and 20 minutes ago, and now he's out there. Got some brawny, so. I'm guessing somebody convinced him, and by somebody I mean Jeff Breeze, that hey, this is the last year. Go get it. We can win this GMAC title. Oh, they're not limping or anything. He looks fine. He was in a ton of pain. All right, he defaulted against Armani Robinson. And uh, had a great match. It was tied 3 3, but he got double left. So, 115 left here. Brawny, Tiffin, Pulser, Lake Erie College. Pulser steps in. Brawny, nasty duck! Oh! Hayden Brawny, go take a bath. And now he gets front headlock, he releases. He's obviously thinking, um, obviously thinking Assassin City here. And now they're calling for stalling, which I do not blame them, but he's trying to pin you, folks. And he's going for it. Holes are trying to pull him off. Brawny can have it. Paul's are, you gotta not get pinned. And they're gonna stop it, stalling. And there goes the block. And they wanna know. And my thing is, if Lake Erie's losing team points for this type of stuff, then it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander, and... When the head goes down, it's in criteria. And I think it's actually a valid I think it's a valid argument by Coach Simcoe. He said, hey, once the head goes down, I think that's a good call. They're actually going to look at it. 2-0 lead, Brawny off a sick, disgusting, dirty McGurdy, Mike Mal duck. <laughs> Aiden Brawny is the anti-Graham Falcon. The anti-Falcon. This guy is not banging your head and hitting a swing single. He is not doing that. Pulser, your double leg man. So this guy over here, he's the anti Grand Falcon. He is not what Jeff Jordan wants on the mat as a product. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm all right with it, though. Sure, he is, too. So, Simcoe getting an explanation from the official. I thought it was a good, a valid argument on Simcoe's part, to be honest with you, in the way he did it. So, but if you're taking points for, from Breeze and, and company over here at Lake Erie. Let's just let's just keep this real. So your three top pinners in NCAA wrestling matches brought to you by Defensive Defensive Defend what you built. Hayden Brownie, 20 plus pins last year, NCAA Division II pin leader. Not doing it this year. Uh, Mason coming up next for Tiffin. He's fifth, and then Lothman coming at heavyweight for Lake Erie College. So we can see three nasty penners in a row. I don't even know if they're going to win, but I mean, pinning happens. I love it. So, running on top 2011. Pulser underneath. Good fight by Pulser, by the way. 
A lot of people come to the end. Sick stand-up. Folks, that's how you teach it. Watch Jesse Paulser stand up. You want to show kids how to get off the mat? There it is. Number one, move off the bottom, Jesse Paulser. You are a textbook, my friend. Probably going to be an Instagram post this week. And the takedown that got hit on you by Hayden Brown. So, Bonnie's got hard hands. He will pound your head. So, maybe he's not totally anti Jeff Jordan. One set of 10 seconds, 2 1 lead. Hayden Brownie on Jesse Paulser here. And. Oh, nasty duck again! No! Out of time! And the assisting official says no. Oh, Brawny, you're gonna have to use some of that defense soap because you're a filthy animal. Paulser knows that it's coming, that's bizarre. So Paul's is in this thing now. Paulser down 2 1. Brawny will cover. Paulser, oh my goodness. He is world champion at stand up. 2 1, and there goes the sick. Doc again to a double. Now he's got an ankle lace. <laughs> and no count on Brawny. I do not know how he did not get dinged for stalling there. Poles are down 4 to 2 here. So, optional start. Brawny, Pulser. So, 4-3 bout. Paulser gets a takedown, he's winning. I'm just putting it out there. GMAC championship duel here. It is a spirited environment. And Brawny tries to do it, and he falls to a double, but he does not finish. And, oh, off the mat. Action's the call. And Paulser. You're playing possum here a little bit. I like it. Ronnie, Pulser here. I thought Pulser probably could have had a flash too there. 105 remains. One minute left. Second period, 4 3 lead. Hayden Brawny, Tiffin University, 2011 duel here in favor of Lake Erie College. Lake Erie College just needs one win here in the next three bouts. Oh! Brawny takes a bad shot, and Ole spin go behind Jesse Paulser. 45 seconds, and now they're rolling, and Paulser clears out. We got a time match. Duck attempt, and he goes for it. Paulser runs up. Who takes down? And this is like a highlight match. Guys are just hitting nasty takedowns and madness on the mat. We're on the edge for 22 seconds left. Seven five lead. Hayden Brawny, Tiffin University. Him and Jesse Paulser putting on a show here. And now Brawny trying to take that arm out, off, put it on the back. They're asking for a stall over here. Paulser laying on the mat. He's going to end the period there. And 115 a ride time to Brawny, and it's going to be choice Brawny. Brawny going at neutral. Seven five lead, Hayden Brawny, Jesse Paulser, Tiffin versus Lake Erie College. And if you are Tiffin, you obviously gotta be thinking bonus points. Your guy pins everybody, or has in the past. Paulser. Garrett Gray telling the official that Paulser is double collar tie stalling. And 127 remains. It's effectively 8 5, stalemate, restart. 115 of ride time will give Ronnie another point at the end of the match. Paul's going to have to get a takedown, suck some time off the clock. And here, Ronnie, you got to try and pin him. 110, and that, that's what that is. When he jumps in the air like that to try and snatch your head, he wants to put you underneath him so he can assassin. Paulser not having any of it. 
seven, five, leave 55 seconds remains here. Third period. Tiffin down 2011 to Lake Erie College, who has had two points, two two points deducted. This is going to come down to heavyweight. Long and short of it, it's going to come down to heavyweight. No matter what the result, it's coming down to heavyweight. So. 34 seconds, Balzer needs a takedown. He's gotta run through a double here or something, and then he'll have to take 15 seconds of ride time off. He's gonna about to be 25 seconds left in the match, so there's a stall on Pulser, stall on him. And my guess is Pulser went out here on one bad wheel, and Ronnie hit him with some nasty ducks, but maybe ran out of go juice to try and go for the pin. And Brawny gonna pick up the 8-5 win over Jesse Pulser. He's gonna make a 2014 here going into 197. Mason coming up next. And Dreggy. Brawny with the win.